Hello everybody and happy Monday. Welcome to Makeup Monday. Um, I know you got the email on Friday for all the members out there that BOGO has been extended. We love to hear that. Yay. I know that a lot of you had some troubles last week logging in. The whole system is new. Um, so it's extended through the end of the month. So you've got plenty of time for a BOGO. And if you've already ordered, you can jump in and order again. Um, so as much as you need, as many times as you want, and whether or not you choose to offer this to your clients, you know, it is a members only offer. So that's all up to you. But what we're going to talk about today is, you know, you can mix and match your color in BOGO. And last week we talked about palettes and building your color boxes and your bento boxes. But what we're going to talk about today is building your, um, turn that up a little bit, building your, your lip collection. So let me show you some of the different ways to do that. Hey, Linda, I see that you're watching. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of things here that you can do for BOGO. Now, these three you can't mix and match, but just to show you for people my age, a lot of us are concerned with lip bleeding and lines and wrinkles on our lips. Um, I'm 53 and that's been a big concern of mine on my top lip. So the first thing is, for those of you that got the face set, that was in the beauty club a few months back, you know, I call this the crack cream because it literally just goes, you know, in the cracks, where you want it, around your eyes, just those few places. So, um, so before you start your lip routine, you can plump up your lip and the tissue around your lips with a little bit of face it. So most of you have that. Um, for the clients watching this video, if you don't have face it, you need it in your life, fill in those cracks. This is, this is um, a stevia side product. The stevia swells and plumps up the tissue. So this can go around the lips. It can go on the lips if you want. And then we have all slick lips and we have lip difference. So what's the the difference between those. Lip Difference is a product that's been around for 40 years. It's a cult favorite. People are obsessed with it. Um, a lot of people like to order this just as a chapstick. It's clear um, and it's really good for your lips. So you can just have a couple of these laying around as a chapstick. So it's, a, it's technically a primer. So it's a um, it's a lip primer. So for those of you that your lipsticks bleed, or like today, I have on a bright, corally red concoction that I put together. I put this on under it because colors like this tend to enhance the little crinkles in my lips. So a little lip difference smooths, that sort of fills in the cracks so I can get my lipstick to go on better. Um, and this, is, this has apricot kernel oil, vitamin E, orange fruit extract, jojoba seed, shea butter, and of course, you know, everything has aloe in it, so it's got your aloe. So it's really, really good for your lips. So a little bit of this under your lipstick as a primer, or it can just be used as your chapstick all day long for those of you who are really struggling with dry lips, or you know, you just need some chapsticks to lay around. And then all slick lips. Um, this is, you know, not an old product. It came out within the last year, but everyone's obsessed with oil slick. This is one of the things on my BOGO order, this and the hand couture that I order, you know, like three of and get three free because I kind of want this in a lot of places in my house. I have one right beside my recliner where I watch TV at night. Um, so this has avocado oil and safflower seed and of course aloe vera, aloe vera, but it also has a lip plumper in it. So it helps, it's a peptide to help swell and plump the lips. So this is sort of my nighttime treatment, if you will. It's more expensive than a traditional lip product. It's like 40 bucks, $39, somewhere around in there. Um, yeah, $39, I think. But Oil Slick Lips is more of a skin treatment. It helps swell and plump and repair the tissue in the lip. It has your aloe, but it has a plumper upper as well. But a lot of um, my clients like to just use this as a clear gloss because it's beautiful by itself. But every night before I go to bed, I put this on, and first thing in the morning when I get up, my lips are dry, my eyes are dry, everything's dry. So I get up, I do my eye drops, and I put a little oil slick lip on first thing in the morning to kind of give my lips some time to swell. Because if I get a lot of this on, obviously my lipstick's going to be a little thinner and a little more runny because this is so sheer and glossy. So those are three products that are excellent for lip lines and wrinkles. Your face it, your lip difference, and your oil slick lips. And lip difference is only like 18 bucks. Um, and you can actually consider that a lipstick. So you could get a lip difference and a lipstick because um, you can mix and match your lip colors. Okay, so on to lip products. Now we've got 
four different lip pencils to choose from. Now, there's several different ways you can lose, use your pencils. Like, um, I'm moving the comments over. I can't see you guys. I don't normally do the phone in this format, so it looks a little weird. So, like today, I have on a brighter lipstick. So, when I finished, I went and rimmed my lip with a little bit of nutmeg just to sharpen the outline of it because it's a little, um, you know, you want it a little more crisp. But a lot of days, depending on what I'm wearing, Cherry Wine is my all-time favorite lipstick. I can put the scarlet all over my lips, totally cover my lips in, and it's going to completely change the color of the Cherry Wine. Or I can put the, um, the scarlet, by the way, gorgeous, that perfect pink mauve. It, it could be its own beautiful lip color. That with a little rose dust gloss, and it's gorgeous by itself. So you color the whole lip in, and anytime you do that, it helps keep your lipstick from bleeding. Um, it keeps your lipstick on longer because these are waterproof, and they coat the lips. And so when your lipstick starts to wear off, you've still got the lip pencil underneath. So again, if you struggle with your lipstick bleeding or... You know, if you want to change the color of your lipstick, then you fill the whole lip in with your lip liner. So we've got the Scarlet, which is that perfect um, pinky mauve color. And then we've got Nutmeg. I know this is my daughter's favorite. Every BOGO, she um, really stock, stocks up on these because she loves, she's young. She loves a very nude lip. And if she goes with color, it's more of a darker brown nude lip. And so this is, and it's hard to find a, a good nude pencil. Um, with my last company, we didn't have a really good nude and I was buying them from MAC. They have one that I loved. And this nude is beautiful. It's called Nutmeg. And it is a good nude. It doesn't make me, being older, look muddy. And, um, and, and also, it's pretty under anything. I can put this under a bright pink or a bright red. And again, alter the shade of that color. I want you guys to learn to think out of the box and think, Oh, a lip pencil is just for lining my lips. There's a lot of different things you can use it for. It can be a standalone product under a gloss. Of course, it can outline your lips, help keep your lipstick from bleeding, make your cupid's bow a little taller. And, and really, you shouldn't line your mouth all the way around and look like, you know, ring around the mouth. You really want to enhance your cupid's bow and maybe the bottom of your lips. So you want to kind of pick where you're going to line. Um, but you can also use your pencils to change the color of your lipsticks. So again, we've got the Scarlet, we've got the Nutmeg, and a color that I love called Bordeaux is a gorgeous, kind of a reddish cherry, um, kind of a reddish cherry color. So that is um, a deeper color, and I love, again, I can put the Bordeaux, one of my favorite combinations is the Bordeaux pencil and either the Posh or the Better Than Beige because those two lipsticks are very nude on me. Um, and I look better as I've gotten older with a little more color. People used to tell me all that, that all the time, and I told them they were crazy, but they were right. One of those things you live and learn, you get older and you figure these things out. But the Bordeaux, I can take the posh or the better than beige and really um, make it a gorgeous <coughs> reddish nude for me. Um, and of course you can use it, it's pretty all on its own as well. And then we have our colorless lip pencil. I'm still on the fence about this one. This is Martha Roberts' favorite lip pencil that we have. She loves this one in Scarlet, but it's colorless. So it's meant to go with things like red and hot pink and things you don't have a matching pencil for. And really all it does is create an edge to keep your lipstick from seeping and, and creeping and crawling out of your lip line. Um, and she swears by it. I'm still just on the fence about this one. So that's our colorless. So those are our four pencils. And then we have four glosses. Ooh, we have a color called, um, oh gosh, what is this? I think it's Merlot. Very, very dark. And I'm going to post some pictures with swatches to all these colors. But there's the um, Merlot, if y'all can see that. Uh, everything's backwards, so I can't. Let's see, I'll do it right here. Okay. It is a very deep burgundy berry. So if I ever use this, I will take a big fluffy brush and just barely paint a little and then take my finger and kind of smudge it in. A little of this goes a long way on me, but I know a lot of you like a bright purpley plum lipstick. Um, so three of our lip glosses are what I would call a lip cream. They're very opaque. They're not see-through. They're not sheer. So you've got our um, perfectly pink which is a really pretty, opaque, um, pink, sort of a pinky nude. They're thicker because they're more like a lipstick. 
So they're kind of a lipstick and a lip gloss, you know, had a baby. Lip creams are real popular. They're they're shiny like a gloss, but they have the opaqueness and the, you know, the you can't see through them like a lipstick. And then we have the buttercream, which is a beautiful nude. Um, so we have the buttercream. Uh, I can't draw a straight line. So it's sort of a nude gloss. And again, it's that opaque color. And then my favorite lip gloss of all time with anybody's lip glosses or products that I've ever bought is Rose Dust. I absolutely put it on top of reds, browns, wines, whatever. I just, I love the, um, and I wear it every day when I get up and I'm just going to go to the gym or clean the house or whatever. This is my everyday lip gloss. It's really sheer and see-through, but it does have a rosy tint, but it looks so pretty on top you know, anything you put it on. And I generally put it in the center of my bottom lip and, you know, just kind of tap my lips together. You don't really want your gloss going everywhere because it gets up in here. So you kind of put it in the center and feather it out. Um, so those are our four glosses. And again, you can mix and match. You can get a rose dust and a buttercream, or you can get a Merlot and a perfectly pink. However you want to do that, you can mix and match all your glosses, all your lipsticks, and all your pencils. Um, Okay, so what's next? My favorite two, I, my favorite two lipsticks that we have are by far the Moxie Mauve, which is your everyday get up, go to work, mauve, nudish um, lipstick. So it's that, you know, it, it's a very mauve, good, great everyday lipstick. And then my absolute favorite, this is not everyone's favorite, but for me is the Cherry Wine. <laughs> I love a nude lip. I rarely wear a bright lip like this, but um, Cherry Wine, see if I've got another place to put something. Cherry Wine is, is a great nude for me because it's got a little bit of wine, cherry, something to cut that muddy look that someone my age really can't tolerate. But I absolutely can take Cherry Wine and one day I can put Bordeaux under it. One day I can put Scarlet under it. And then, of course, it's gorgeous with nutmeg. Um, and I always put my rose dust on top of it. So it gives it a little pinky on top of that brownish coppery color that it is. Um, and so, you know, become a mixologist. You know, learn to mix your colors and get some amazing. And you've probably got a bunch of lipsticks at home that you like something about it, but there's something about it you don't like. So try mixing it with something else to come up with a completely new shade. And then the um, Pantone color of the year is Coraline. Um, and I love coral lipsticks. My all-time favorite nail polish is um, Cajun Shrimp by OPI. And that is that beautiful orangey red color. So it is my go-to summertime color. I love it all summer long. Well, we have a color called Coraline. And it's pretty coral. It is very um, orange. It is straight up an orange coral lipstick. But what I have found is... I've never found the perfect coral for me, but I love coral lipsticks. So what I love to do, like today, I have on the Cabaret, which is my favorite red because it's um, not so blue and intense, and it's the most popular one, I think, for the company. So today I have the Cabaret with the Coraline mixed together, and all I did was took a spatula and scraped those off and mixed them and then painted it on. And it is a gorgeous shade of coral. Now, if I wanted to dress it down a little bit and not have it quite so coral and quite so bright, I would mix the coral on with my cherry wine or maybe a little posh or better than beige to get maybe a more subtle coral. But that's the big color of the year and that's gonna go great with your Go on the Glow palettes that a lot of you ordered last week. Um, you know, the go and the glow is the coral blush and the shimmer and the, the beautiful shimmery bronzer. And so this is definitely a summery, bronzy, you know, when you got your tan on, um, fun summer look. Um, so we've got some other lipsticks. Can't show all of them, of course, today, but I will put pictures and swatches in the comments so you can see them. And then don't forget about our face paints. These are blushes, but they also can go on your lips. Um, in the summer, I love the Tuscan. I can't remember the name of the color of it, um, but it's a Tuscan color. And then we've got more of a mulberry wine color and more of a pink color. 
And the way I apply this, one tube of this, girls, will last you the rest of your life because there is so much product and it takes such a little bit. But I just take um, an old blush brush. I thought I had one sitting here. I just take a really old um, blush brush. Oh, okay. Or this is our chisel brush for liquid makeup, and it's really good for this. But I never put this straight on because it's a lot of color. Literally, I'll just kind of dab it in there, and I might buff some of it off. But I always tell you, you know, whenever I put my blush on, I always come back with a little cream blush because it lasts all day long. And see, that's a little bright, a little bozo. And so I would come back with... Um, you know, another chisel brush and just, all my brushes are being washed. These are some old brushes. So I'll just come back with another brush and just blend it in. And that's going to stay on all day. It doesn't budge. It doesn't fade. So for those of you that really are looking for a blush that stays on, um, that's what you're going to get with that. I would still come back and take a little powder because I got that a little too close to my eyes, but you guys get the point. But it lasts, it stays on. If you have drier skin, it just doesn't move. I'll still use my powder bronzer and a little powder blush for placement, and then I'll come back and add just a little cream on top. But you can put the, um, the lip paints on your lips too, so it's kind of an all-in-one product, and you can tap it on your eyes in the summertime with the tan. It's really pretty on your eyes, especially the Tuscan. I love the Tuscan one in the summer and the warmer months when I have a tan. Um, and whenever you've kind of, you know, got your lips on, if you really want to clean it up or make them sharp, your foundation brush, the lighter side of your concealer is really pretty for accenting your Cupid's bow. Um, I'm going to kind of exaggerate that, but you can see how you can lighten that up and it's going to make your Cupid's bow a little more prominent. And then the darker side, you know, of course, for like right there. I always get a little red under this light right there. So that's your concealer. And of course, you know, we have the lip cards. Um, the lip cards have really helped me expand my lip wardrobe this, this year because you get two lip products. You get 16 lip colors, two cases, you know, for 25 bucks. And I have really become a mixologist with these. I will, and I do like using these with my finger. A really big trend with lipstick too now is a lip stain. Um, and so I'll just barely tap one of these colors and kind of smudge it with my finger. So it's that slept in, um, like I saw some article, some things on Pinterest where it's very smudged and kind of colored out of the lines, which is not me and will never be me. But, um, but these are super creamy. They wear well and they stay on forever. And again, I'll put my rose dust on top of everything. So that's a quick overview of a lot of our lip products. Um, a few fun tips for you for lips. Um, let's see. You know, you can take, before you, before I apply my lipstick, I always take, you know, a chisel brush or powder brush and I powder off my lips because I really want to remove the color from my lips so the lipstick goes on more matte, more dry, it stays on better. Um, let's see. Okay, and if you want to do a bright red lip and you want to be really super matte, I know the young girls love matte, I like gloss. Um, you put your lipstick on, you put a tissue or a blotting paper or an old perm paper, you put it on, you blot it, and you powder over that perm paper, and it kind of sucks out the oil out of the lipstick and out of your lips and gives you a really nice matte lip. Um, the, whenever I finish, especially with colors like this, you always do that, and then any color that was up in here comes off on your finger, and then it doesn't end up all over your teeth, okay? Um, and speaking of teeth, you know, if you really enjoy lipsticks and you like bright lipsticks, I, I use the Crest White Strips. I get asked that question a lot, and I can't use them, but about twice a month, I'll use them like two days in a row, two or three times in a month, and it really makes my teeth obnoxiously white. It works well on my teeth. I drink a lot of red wine, and so, and, and I only drink one cup of coffee a day, but it really does a number on my teeth. But my teeth are sensitive, and I can't use them that often, but they work great. It's the professional one. They're expensive, but they last me a while because I don't use them every day. Um, and for applying colors, you know, if they're really dark um, or if you want to get a lighter version of it, a big fluffy brush, instead of a lipstick brush, a lip, you know, they're skinny, they're thin. I love a big fluffy brush mainly because it gets down in the cracks and it, it helps blend it on really, really pretty. 
Um, and you want to keep your lips exfoliated. Unfortunately, we're, you know, we're, we can't get the soothing smooth right now. It's being repackaged and reformulated. So, um, in the meantime, use your enzyme peel. Use your five minute facial. The enzyme peel works well. You just want to get rid of the little things on top of your lips. Um, let's see. Less is more when you're wearing a lot of blush. That's why that blush kind of got a lot for me because my lips are so bright and I'm not used to that. And so if you're wearing a really intense lip, go a little more nude, uh, not nude, a little paler on your cheeks. And I, I even tried to lighten up my eyes today because I, I was doing such an intense lip. Um, cr really creamy lipsticks like the lip paints or they work well with a lip brush. But if you want a true matte lipstick straight out of the tube, you know, the little bullet, it's going to really put it on the best, the best way there. Um, you know, lips lips can really show our age. And I know some of you with super, super thin lips. You know, I did a whole video a while back on lip filler because I did that last summer. And I love the results, but I had a really bad experience. It was my own fault. And you can go through some old videos and find that. But I highly recommend for any of you that are looking at lip filler to start with just doing your border and your... um your columns right there. So don't go all in and do your whole lip at once. Try that, see how you like it, and then go back for more. And I think that's about it. So um, bow goes through the end of the month. So mix and match the color, all the color, but these are the lip products that we have and the things that can smooth your lips out and, and you know, learn to, to dress up your lip wardrobe. You know, mix and match some colors you've already got. There's actually um, a video I posted a while back on depotting your lipstick. You know, taking all your lipsticks out of here and putting them into, you know, a case kind of like this. You can buy those cases on Amazon, um, or you can probably buy something just like it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And you take your lipsticks out and kind of melt them down so you can create some of your own colors too if you've got lipsticks that you don't love. So you, all, you guys have a great week. And if you have any questions about how to order, how to log in, um, you know, you're going to go to teamalouette.com. Um, and then you're going to log into your back office in order that way. You can reach out to Samantha. You can reach out to me or your upline, and we'll help you get it taken care of. So you guys have a great rest of the month for March. And be on the lookout for um, a video this Friday. We're going to launch a special over the weekend to, um, to, for new recruits, for new members. So I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.